Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome back again with the Flutter series. So yes, we are officially back with the Flutter series. I was busy in recording more than 100 videos for one of the another series. We'll talk about that probably in the later videos. But right now, the thing is we are back with the Flutter series so we can get started and can explore more about Flutter, can learn how we can read the documentation and implement tons of features here. So let's go ahead and do that. And yes, in case you notice, these are glasses. This is my first official YouTube videos uh, with the glasses. These are not vision correction. The doctor said, actually, I need these glasses. If I want to work for long hours on computer, these are absolutely necessary. I was having so much of the pain in eyes, reddishness. These are compulsory now. I cannot avoid them now. Okay. So coming back on to the point, in case you want to use exact same files that I'm using, exercise files, I will be uploading them on the resource. I've created a full-fledged resource where I have curated all the videos in a proper sequence with proper exercise files. And the link is going to be in the description section so that all of you can join up there, build up a community, can help each other by answering questions and asking questions and can get all these exercise files absolutely for free, of course. So let's get started and talk about uh, moving further into this. So this is the project that we were working on in the previous video. In this video, make sure you are aware with these color creation process. This is compulsory for the every future videos. In case you haven't watched that, go previous videos, watch them up. So this is what we have created. Again, nice color on the app bar that we have got. Come on, I can just bring you up here. There we go. So this is what we are having. We do have a nice uh, top bar with a customized color that we have picked up. Also, we have got a nice bluish color uh, floating action bar. Surely we can customize the color of this. Right now we have got a BG color for that. Uh, we don't have actually any color for this floating. This is by default coming up as a blue. Surely we can customize. The format of customizing is exactly same, uh, just like what we had in the previous uh, videos, exactly same. But I think the blue is pretty decent and pretty okay here. Okay, the next thing is we want to add an icon here. So definitely we need to study about icons in the Flutter. And the whole concept is not about just writing two lines of code and adding the icon. Surely we can do that. But the concept is we need to understand how to read those documentation so that if I miss something, you can just go ahead into documentation and explore things. Surely no author or no uh, video creator can cover up all the things. That's why reading the documentation is important skill. Okay, so this is the icon class that we will be studying together. So here we have got an icon class in the Flutter. You can surely search on the icon and this is the class that you're gonna get. And icons are pretty powerful here. I noticed that you can have interactive icons like icon buttons, the icons which we will be using. And there is an icon theme, image icons. So I haven't read the image icon yet. So obviously there are a lot of options that are being given to us and a lot of customizable features as well. In the constructor, we can see we have got icon data means which icon you want to use. And then we have got a key means if you want to pass on some information, double the size you want to get in the double format, the color that we have studied a little bit in the past, and we have string semantics labels. So it's pretty powerful. If I click on this one, we can see we can create an icon here just like this and then can call an icon this dot icon we will be doing a little bit different than this one but surely the point is that information can be passed in this manner in a proper format and we can utilize that pretty easy to do nothing r really serious and since this is coming up from google obviously it support all the icons from the material design and the naming is definitely important uh, so this is the cache this is build so whatever the icon you want to use make sure you go on to this material io the icons name just remember the name by the way visual studio is going to help you a lot in that but so this is all the prerequisite. Now, first we are going to get this build icon, then we're gonna go for a proper icon that we need for this application. And remember that always come up here and explore more, for example, colors or icon data. So what are the icon sets that you want to use? So go ahead, notice here, icon data is here. So you have to name it material icon, AC unit, something like that, okay? So this is how you get the icon data, but there is an easier way as well. So let me show you that, okay. So let's go up here. We want to insert the icon into our floating action button. That's the important point you should always remember. One thing that you'll be getting quite a lot in the Flutter is the child. Child is something like you want to pack up some information and store that into a bigger item. That's where the child comes into the role. 
For example, the floating action button is a big thing inside that our on pressed is a one event, but I want to give more information so I can store that in a child and can pass it like that. You'll be seeing that quite a lot. So there we go child and inside the child I want to use icon. The first thing is pass on the icon data. Of course, there are multiple ways to pass on the icon data. One of them is saying icons dot and then you get all these icons. For example, I want to have a build. I can just get the build. Thanks uh, VS Code for suggesting all of this. So this is the first information that you can pass on. Although this information is like totally good enough for having an icon, let me just save that. Uh, I guess I missed a comma or something. No, it's, it's just fine like that way. And I can just go up here, hit the Shift R to rebuild the application and hopefully the icon will appear. So there we go, nice and easy icon appears up here. But probably for some reason you like a red icon or something like that, or probably you like an icon with the bar color. We definitely can go for that. Although uh, this color is actually fine, but still just for the sake of experiment purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and add a color property as well so that you can understand how these things are done. So we want to add a color onto the icon. So obviously I'll go up here in the icon and just like I read in the constructor part that how to add an icon, I can pass on a color property and can add an icon, I can just go up here and after the build I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to add a color and now I'm going to be passing a color. Of course the color should be in the proper format. We already talked about this proper formatting in the previous videos. I'm going to be just for testing purpose using the bar color. I'm going to save that and now I'm going to hit shift R to reload that. Okay. So there we go, nice and ugly green color. It is looking purely ugly just here. The white color was absolutely fine there. But now you know the concept in case you want more customization up here. So here's a quick assignment for all of you. What I want you to do is change the background color here from blue to this green, which we are using at the top bar and make the icon white. Once you have done this, make sure you give me those few lines of code that you have used to accomplish this task and post them in the discussion section uh, in the resource. The link is actually in the description, so you can go ahead and use that. For now, this looks purely ugly, so I'm gonna just remove that, save that. Okay, so this is our application. Let me hit shift reload so that we can see nice and white icon. And I don't need actually the build icon. I just need an add icon here. So I'm gonna go for add, save that and shift R to get this icon here. And there we go, nice and easy plus icon. Surely I can pass another value for the size as I read in the uh, this one. So I can pass on a size parameter and can assign a value in double and can increase the size of it. But I think it's, it's just fine as of now. Okay, so this is our video about learning about the icons in the Flutter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because without hitting that subscribe button, this video series cannot continue further. In case you hit that subscribe, do let me know in the comment section as well. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.